Hello and welcome to Smells Like Home Cooking. Today we're going to be cooking one of the ultimate in comfort foods, rice pudding. To make this you will need 100 grams of caster sugar, 1.7 litres of milk, 150 grams of pudding rice and 2 teaspoons of vanilla extract. Start by rinsing the rice in cold water. This removes any starchy dust that will make the pudding too gloopy and thick, which you don't really want. Add the drained rice to the saucepan with two teaspoons of vanilla extract. You can use syrup if you want, but you'll probably need a bit more. Next, add 100 grams of caster sugar. I'm using unrefined golden sugar here, but you can use white if you prefer. Finally, add the milk. Full fat milk is ideal because it's a bit richer, but semi skim works fine too. Now it's time to start the cooking. Take the saucepan onto a medium heat and stir to combine before bringing to the boil. At this point, it's worth putting the oven on to heat up to 150 degrees C. Once boiling, reduce the heat to a simmer and cook for 30 minutes. As it simmers, just give it a stir every five minutes or so, and then during the last five minutes, stir constantly to prevent it from sticking. Now pour the rice mixture into a baking dish and bake for 30 minutes in a preheated oven at 150 degrees C. After the 30 minutes in the oven, the pudding will need to be taken out and leave to cool for two hours. This gives it a more creamy texture as the rice soaks up the remaining sweetened milk. To serve the pudding, I like to caramelise the top by sprinkling it evenly with caster sugar and then either putting it under the hot grill for a few minutes or using a blowtorch as I'm doing here. This is a lot more fun than using a grill. You can leave this stage out and just serve it without any topping or simply sprinkle with some icing sugar if you prefer. But this gives it a lovely crunchy texture, which I think is a nice contrast to the creamy pudding underneath. So there you have it, the ultimate rice pudding perfect for a cold autumn or winter's day. If you like this recipe and would like to see more, please subscribe for free below so that you can be notified of our next video. Thanks for watching.